Power Ranger Kilke, and we're going to Hobo and base camp. We're going to do some stuff out there for a few minutes. But uh, on the way to the camp, I want to talk to you about some some things I always notice about bug out bag. What is a bug out bag? You grab your stuff, you put it in the bag, and you run into the woods. What for? Why would you do that? Okay. Are you running from Are you running from the law? You're running from an army. Are you running for aliens? What are you running from and why would you take a bag into the woods and try to live out of a bag? You know, it's amazing to me sometimes about these people with bug out bags. I made a camping bag. I call what's in your bag. Oh, these damn crows. So I made a video called what's in your bag and later on I type in your bug out bag, the Molly 2. Because people want that. They want to see what would you do if you had to bug out. Yes, there's good videos about bug out bags, which you should have in them. What you should not have in them. But what is the purpose of a bug out bag? Are you running from the law? Running from the government? Okay. Are you running from the law? Well, one or two things. They're going to find you one way or the other. That's law enforcement. You can't run forever. Even though there was a man that was it ran from the law for like 20 years before he got caught in the middle of the woods. He had a bug out camp. He had everything. Generators, food, tents, tarps. You name it. He had it. He got away from the law for 20 years. You know how they got caught up with him? His history. See, when these, these FBI guys do murder cases, they find out where you go, what pictures you have, everything. They look at everything, especially the FBI. If you run from the FBI, they're going to find you one way or the other. They're going to find the murderer who did the crime. It might take them 20 years, but they'll find you. No picture of a lake that you used to go to where you dropped the body. I'm just saying, I'm just using that as a sample. And later on, they find a dead body and they blunt it was your old girlfriend. Guess what? <laughs> you linked. All right, back to, to the subject, the bug out bag. Why? Okay, if you're running from the law, they'll find you. If you got a YouTube channel and you're bugging out, you might as well not even bug out. If you're going to bug out, you might as well just get in your car and go as far as you can to the opposite direction you've never been. Start anew. That's the best way. Alright, if you're running from the army, and what, I, I hate to tell you, all the police, they got helicopters with heat-seeking heat seeking cameras. They can, they can sense heat. A mile away and if you are going against the army and the armies are killing everybody your chances of survival is slim against the army big slim against the army now I can see a hurricane tornado earthquake salami salami whatever you call a damn thing yeah it's good to have a bag so you can have a home or a temporary shelter for a few days. <sighs> I got to watch the ground. Thought I was watching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha. Boy, anything moves on the ground, I'm freaking jumping. You never know. It's gonna be a cobra or something. So you're bugging out. If you're going against the army, like I said, they got heat seeking cameras and they'll talk to you a mile away and shoot their 50 cow and you're dead a 50 cow you're dead you're wasting your time to run from the army or the police when they got heat seeking cameras on their helicopters they'll find you all right an alien invasion that is zero to one trillion 
of a chance that happened. That would happen. One trillion would an alien invasion ha ever happen. Okay, that, that that's not even questionable. I mean, you should not even talk about that crap because it's one trillion to one we'd be invaded by aliens. Okay, that's over with. Now, what else we can talk about? What else will you need a bug out bag? Well, you want to get away from your family. That's one way to do it. Take your bag, go out in the woods, which I'm doing now. My family's at the house. My niece and her niece and her daughters and my sister. I grabbed my bag and left. <laughs> they, you know how, they don't know how to get out here, but I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Now, that's the only bug, bug out system I see that's going to work for you any time of the day. You gonna bug out? You might as well bug out from your family, friends, or maybe try to hide from the police. But sooner or later, the police will catch up with you by watching your videos, looking at your pictures. Uh, if you have photo of family pictures of camping areas, they're gonna look in those camping areas. If they really want you, they'll find you. They're gonna find you one way or the other. The best way to hide is just hide in plain sight. From the law. Alright, what are the reasons that you might need a bug out bag? Can you think of any? Leave a little comment below if you got an idea why you need a bug out. An invasion of an army from another country. Yeah, that could be a possible thing. One e EMP, electrical impulse uh, bomb which is taking a nuclear bomb and blowing up in their atmosphere. That would kill. Hey, what were you doing? That would kill all the electricity. Your flashlights, everything will go. Your, your phone, you zombies will be clueless without your phone. So what can you do after one of those happen? Okay, you have no power. That means you got to walk to wherever you want to go walk your cars will not run unless you have an old t model car that can handle one of those electrical impulse if not you're stuck like chuck you're not going nowhere you gotta walk and you walk the streets guess what an invading army with helicopters could take you out come on what are you going to bug out with and how are you going to bug out with with an electrical impulse I mean, it's good to be prepared. I'm not, I'm not gonna gouge you. I got bags everywhere, but they're more like, they're bug out bags, and they're also camping bags. I use them for more in camping than I use them for bug out, because I will never, never in my lifetime bug out. It'd be a trillion and one, I'm gonna bug out. All right, this is area is a little, uh, why don't we let you look at the woods? What am I doing? You can hear me better this way too. All right, looking for skakes. Okay, no skakes. Walk to the swamp, deadly swamp of mud. So the odds of bugging out for what reasons is be really not a good reason. Then if you have a family, guess what? You gotta have a, have a bag for each one of those people. So making a bug out bag is maybe good for you. Good to be prepared, but it's gonna be one in the tree and if that ever happens, because our army, our navy, our army, our navy, our, our seals, our rangers, our our total system of our army is badass. We ain't have an attack on our land for years. I'm not I'm not talking about terrorists, I'm talking about war. Head on to two countries, head on to one another and try to kill one another. Like they did back in the Civil War days. That's not gonna happen. They got we got defenses. We will take out anybody who try, even tries to come over here to invade our land. So, 
So the question again, why are you building a bug out bag that you will never use in your entire life? Maybe a good camping bag. That's why I call my bags cabin bags, but some people just love the word bug out bag. Oh yeah, I got my bug out bag. You might get views because you said bug out bag. But in reality, like I said, you're not gonna use it. Think about this. Back in the day in the Cold War with Russia, American built all kinds of bomb shelters. Those bomb shelters have never been used and are all abandoned. Type in abandoned bomb shelters and see how many you come up with. All those people wasted that money building shelters that never used. So are you gonna be another one of those people who just sucks up to the rest of the people? A sheeple? Well, he did it. I'm going to do it to you. Don't be a sheeple. There's plenty of bomb shelters that's not being used today. People buy some today and not going to use it in their lifetime. Now, one person who buys a bomb shelter right now is going to use it. It might, good, it might have, be good to have, but you're wasting your time and money. Oh, look, I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna have 10 rooms full of food. And guess what? Most of that food goes out of date before you even use it in some type of bug out system. You ended up eating the food that you have or throwing it away because it's out of date. Because you thought the end of the world was around the corner because you believed the Maya, Maya counter or something. And you believe that you believe in this guy from Mars said, "Oh, the aliens are coming," or you believe that something's wrong and at the end of the times. I'm gonna tell you something. Man been saying the end of times for thousands of years, thousands. Please don't waste your time and believing in some uh, this video guy on YouTube saying the end of times is near. Don't believe that. Because my friend Andrew, he did the same thing. Guess what? He's passed away. He never used the stuff he bought for his bug out. Or his doomsday situation because he believed the internet hoax. Hoax. Don't believe what you see on the internet either. Unless you see it for real. Hey, yeah, he, he put his hand in that ice fire. I mean, some of this can be fake too, so just be careful what you watch on YouTube and on the internet because some of it's fake. And people just want views. So they put fake, fake videos up. So you go, oh, the end of the world's tomorrow. Oh, we go, I gotta watch this and find out what he's talking about. And you're a sheep and you go, watch the video. And <laughs> it's like my friend. He believed in this guy saying, oh, the end of times was 2004, August 13th. Hey, hello. It's, what, 2016? 10 years later? Or whatever, how many years it is. But he believed in it. He believed in this fantasy of the end of the world. Ugh, Jack, spider. <laughs> so he believed in that fantasy stuff. Don't fall victim to something that you regret later. You believe in this fantasy. Because that's all it is. Doomsday is a fantasy. Doomsday is when you die. That's your doomsday. When you pass away, that's your last day on earth. That's your doomsday. Alright, well, I'm at my camp. See you in a few seconds. Cut!